Hello all, uh, Alison here, just with a few minutes of fun. A few minutes of fun today with some Gypsophila, which came out of some uh, birthday flowers for my mother that have now gone over, but I grabbed the Gypsophila. Some people know it was baby's breath, but I think that's something slightly different. Uh, back, I grabbed it back from the bin because I thought, well, I'll just use that with my jelly plate. Uh, I've got some favourite colours of Paper Artsy Fresco paint. Well, I say they're, no, they are favourite colours. Um, it's not true to say they're not. So we're just going to spend a few minutes, probably between five and ten. That's my aim for a few minutes of fun, uh, this new series. And I'm just popping that gel plate down onto an A4 piece of, it's just cheap copy paper, because I'm not making a fuss about this. I'm just going to play. I have got some previous jelly prints sitting here uh, that I might also play with depending on what appears and I've got some tags cut from mixed media paper just in case I decide there's something worth grabbing and all I'm doing is putting a few dots of paint onto direct onto the gel plate brayer into action and just allow that to spread out keeping it quite random quite free. I embrace imperfection as you know I like texture so I'm never interested in a completely perfect printing of anything. I'm just going to bung some of these down, press them, keep them in place. There's a finger mark there, don't care. And another little sprig, I might pull that off so that I've got a bit more control of what's going where. Those there those there, uh, maybe not because that's a bit broken, those there. And because these are quite lumpy and bumpy, I'm going to need to press down firmly to create the spaces around them. Pressing in, just to really get to either side of those. Now, because I'm using fresco paints, which are chalky acrylics, you do have to work reasonably rapidly because one of the joys of fresco paints is how quickly they dry. But of course, with the gel plate, that's not always the most helpful. So there are ways of dealing with that. You can work with extenders and glazes and all of all kinds of things. So that's a pretty good starting point. Just those little uh, silhouettes of the gypsophila on that one. I'm going to lift that up. And I think you can probably see on there that I've got some quite nice outlines of the jip. So I'm going to press in with another piece and just take that as a reverse. And as I was saying, this is where working with a bit of pace is a good thing. So to make sure you get those. Next time round, I'll print that on something that's already printed so that I get a background into it. So I'm going to pop on some more. Might go with some purpley blues into the mix this time. So this is lovely wisteria, maybe a bit of summer sky because it is starting to feel a little spring like out there here in the wilds of the Czech Republic. We probably will get a bit more winter before we get to enjoy spring fully but it is it's starting to feel like it might be coming <laughs> and a little bit of hay pesto so that's wisteria summer sky granny smith and hay pesto onto the mat it's a mix of opaques semi-opaques and translucents so there's all sorts going on there and again i'm i'm not fussed i'm letting it play that's really what this is about it's a few minutes of fun not sweating it not trying to get overexcited i'm going to put those same pieces down just because they've got a little bit of paint on them now and they're a little bit flatter now so that's just creating a little bit more ease might stick one down in that little corner and again this is going to be quite a loose silhouette but i like it i could add some doodling later it's just about seeing what happens. And I'm pressing from the middle so that I've got a kind of way to work outwards. 
um, and I hope you can see that I'm working quite firmly in and around those flower buds and stalks. And you can see how bumpy that's got. It's cheap copy paper, as I said. That's another nice silhouette. I'm enjoying that with all those different colours going on in the background. And as you can see, I've still got quite a lot going on on the plate. Um, so that I'm actually going to take on a plain print because I don't want to lose all of that detail that might have turned up on the jelly plate. And again, it's one of the joys of the gel printing process. But you're never quite sure what you're going to get. And I think that lack of control is a is a wonderful thing. <laughs> somebody like me who likes to think they're in control of stuff ah yes and again they're gentle little shapes but they're quite obviously still present as organic little shapes in there I'm going to do one of my favorite in betweeny prints now just cleaning things off a little bit so I didn't brush my brayer off I've still got the paint on there and as you can see that gives me a, a much more watery uh, look and in fact, if I let it, that slightly watery look will start to create some texture as that paint shrinks away from the surface of the gel plate. But I like that. Um, I'm going to give myself a couple of prints here that I might use as backgrounds. That's why I've got the sheet of paper underneath. Because hopefully it will enable me to... I'm going to go again. So that's just a spray of water. And again, it allows me to clean off the brayer and now you can really see on that run how the paint is reacting against the surface of the gel plate now that it's so watery and that's giving me a lovely textural look which is going to be really nice if I can get some background gypsophila onto there so I might go for quite a dark set of paints next. Last couple of prints, maybe. One of the problems with gel printing is that it becomes <laughs> quite obsessive. Uh, and it's quite hard to stop because you just want to see, oh, what next? What if? Maybe. What about? So let's put on some purples so that we've got a contrast. Having said it was dark, I can't resist a little bit of glacier sky glacier ice that's a beautiful opaque oh doesn't want to come out uh-huh a little bit dry in the middle there in the little support but if I'm okay oh lots of glacier ice <laughs> not to worry and I haven't really fully cleaned this so there are still some greens going on on there but that's all part of the joy and I've got lots of purple at the top there I think I'd quite like some down at the bottom here just to give myself a different look on this print. Let's pop this gypsophila back onto there. That one going in that direction. Maybe that one going, oh, there's a bit dropping off. We'll take that off. Maybe pop it down here. And again, let's go for just a starter print. Put another piece of copy paper. In we go. And you can see I've got quite a lot of brayer texture on this one, so it's going to be quite an interesting background, I think. It's going to be quite pretty. And again, I'm just trying to get in around as much detail of that organic material as I can. Lift away. Ooh, look at that smoky, foggy, misty morning. Very pretty. Very pretty. Let's take this off. And again, I, I kind of don't want to go I want to go just with a plane again. You can build up layers of the on these, of course, later with stamping, with uh, sketching, with doodling. So you can create incredibly complex layered gel prints, or you can just create something a little simpler that you can then use later. What I am going to try and do is see if I've got enough paint. Flipping these over, can you see the paint that is on those? I'm going to see if I've got enough paint on there to maybe pick up um, this green gel print. So now I can line it up with the paper underneath, pop that down and see if I can't pick up 
some of the paint from the flowers themselves onto that mop-up print that I had. Now that these are flatter as well and with a little bit of paint, I will press these between a book, these gyps off the stems, and keep them for future use. Oh, not quite, not quite. A few, a few little hints of flower head. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. Pretty with the purple. So one more go. I said this was going to be a few minutes of fun. Trouble is, I end up having too much fun. Oh, and maybe a little bit of green. And maybe a little bit of dark green at the bottom. Ooh, hoo, hoo, come back, lid. You can see I, <laughs> I've used this one a lot. This is Hyde Park, nice dark green again. I've just got a little bit of dried paint in the narrow opening there, but I can get a few dots out by tipping them. And I think we might put some summer sky, summer sky at the top. There we go. Lost the brayer. Oh, now that's got quite a lot of purple on. I think for once I might <laughs> wipe some of it off before I go. I should have done a mop up with that. That would have created some lovely texture. Too late now. Paint's on the gel plate. It's just a few minutes of fun, not to worry. Summer sky spreading out at the top. That's green fields and summer sky. I quite like a little bit more summer sky, actually. A little bit bluer sky at the top. That's now quite a lot, so I'm going to have lots of mop-up ones to do. Yes, that's pretty. Very nice. And one more go with the same set of gypsophila. Again, it's just going to create a nice silhouette, probably. Spread them out a little bit. Pop you down there. Let's go for one more blank print. Pressing down into those gaps. Pull it up. Yeah, another lovely silhouette. And yes, I've got little bits of purple going on in those backgrounds, but I, I really don't mind. That <laughs> makes me happy um, to have those moments of distress, those moments of randomness, those moments of unexpected extras. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, so as I was saying, I will, I will press these between some books and they'll get used on a mixed media piece in the future. They'll get glued down with some multimedium. We could make that our next five minutes of fun. And there we go. See, this is why persevering with gel printing, just keep going um, and you'll find your way to something really lovely. So just to demonstrate once more how I like to get that texture at the end, that's just a way to clean both the brayer and the gel plate and means I'm making the most of any leftover paint. Let's grab that. Lovely textures. And I think there's probably one more on there if we give it a go. A little bit more water. Oh yes. I, I, I just love watching that. Um, I mean, it's physics, isn't it, really? Surface tension and the watery paint shrinking away. Another sheet of paper. So you think you're doing art, but really you're doing science. <laughs> oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Yeah. Very happy with that. Just a few minutes of fun with the gel printing plate and some old gypsophila really past its best and a few favourite paper artsy paints. Hope you enjoyed it. Come again soon.